Hi, Dr. Robert Sullivan. Today in this presentation, I want to talk about zinc and stomach acid. Because if you don't make stomach acid, you do not absorb zinc. If you do not absorb zinc, you do not make stomach acid. That is the zinc stomach acid conundrum. And we're going to take a deeper look into this whole mechanism. You know, first and foremost, if you have deficient stomach acid yet, beautiful gastric juice, if you're deficient in it, you don't have a first line defense. You know, so we need that stomach acid around 1.5 to 3. If you have that strong acid, it will render any bacterial uh, infection, viral infection, mycotoxin, it will destroy it. So these pathogens won't have a chance to colonize into the small intestine and then to go rogue and systemic throughout the whole body with chronic infection after chronic infection. So when you have stomach acid, that is your first line defense. The classic example is H. pylori, that very obnoxious bacterial infection that affects actually half of the world's population has H. pylori because half of the world's population at least is deficient in stomach acid. So we have to make this stomach acid connection to our first line defense because all healing begins in the gut. Hippocrates told us that from day one and every doctor that's taken the Hippocratic Oath knows this. So the great mavericks that, you know, have laid the foundation to natural medicine and functional medicine, have always talked about how important it is to heal the gut. The Bernard Jensen's, the Samuel Hanneman's, all the great clinicians of old always told us, heal the gut. And to do that, we have to understand the mineral connection. We have to understand, you know, what is the stomach acid? Because it is your first line defense. Now, the medical savants were telling us that H. pylori thrives in a acid environment. Well, that could not be further from the truth, you know, and, and they wanted to sell you their billion dollar baby, those proton pump inhibitors to suppress the hydrogen to making your stomach acid. So, the you know, think of a, a hydrogen is a proton is an acid. The definition of an acid is its ability to donate a hydrogen which is a proton. Remember, hydrogen is number one on the periodic table, so it has one proton. So when you think of a hydrogen, it is a proton, it is an acid. So we have to understand that, you know, we're making, uh, in making stomach acid, how important the hydrogen ion is. And so they were trying to tell us that uh, H. pylori thrives in this acid environment so they can come up with their billion dollar drug, the proton pump inhibitor. So the corollary to that is if you have stomach acid and it's in that 1.5 to 3 range, it will render any pathogen, it will destroy it, neutralize it, eat it alive. And so this is why we have to understand that H. pylori and all these infections are because we have not enough stomach acid. All right. So this is where we always have to question things and dig a little bit deeper. 